overworked, overstressed, burned out. Who hasn't felt that way at some point in their career? One woman says that's when it's time to hit the pause button. Doing that, she says, has helped her find happiness as well as success. Day in and day out, she never stopped. Rachel O'Meara was succeeding until, that is, she worked herself into a classic case of burnout. Something had to give. I couldn't imagine another day doing what I was doing. I wasn't happy, so I thought about options and decided to ask for a three-month unpaid break. O'Mara's self-imposed timeout worked. After taking a long look at whether her job was meeting her goals, she transferred to another position. It also inspired her to write the book, Pause. The reality is most of us don't have that luxury of taking an unpaid break. It could be a conversation, an engaging conversation or a passion project that you may not have allowed time for historically. I think pauses are about turning down the noise. Once Amelia Hurlbut turned to Rachel and turned down the noise, her hectic schedule slowed down enough to make a pleasant discovery. I think I'm more at peace to not do 10 things at once, and that's enabled me to be a better partner, a better friend. Pausing enhances anyone's life. We're so busy doing and doing all the time. Here are a few telltale signs you may need to pause. You hate the job you used to love. Your boss isn't happy with what you're doing. You're catching yourself staring at digital devices. Take a break. It's about creating what, what would work for you and living a better life for yourself. And if you need another reason to put a pause on your digital devices, get this, on average, people globally check their phones 150 times per day. Gosh. Devin is giving me a glaring uh, look yes, here. That somebody. translates into reading texts, of course, and emails every two to three minutes. Rachel calls this an interruption of your life and also says that we should try to detox from our screens on a regular basis. Don't give me that look. I've only checked it. I'm just going to say that 150 <laughs> might be a little low. A little for, low for me. But somebody's got to be higher for that to be the average. I so, think you, so you probably work at, but in the it. But it somewhere. is really, we just feel so, we're so hyper connected. We are. And that is what I think leads to this sort of chase all the and time. People right? are afraid to disconnect. Yeah, yeah. yeah.